Hi, this is Jason. Welcome to Famous People That Are Cool. On this Halloween edition of Famous People That Are Cool, I'll be talking about the great John Carpenter. John Carpenter made some great films. We all know, like, every Halloween they play Halloween. And for great reasons. It's a great classic. But he also did other great films, such as The Thing, Big Trouble in Little China, They Live, In the Mouth of Madness, Escape from New York, A Saw in Precinct 16, and for some of you that might like it, John Carpenter's Vampires, and many others. The thing about John Carpenter is, he's, a, he's like a, a visionary. He's a guy that like and can make any topic or any like uh, underlying political lying in his films like very um, subtle. Like with They Live, it was, it's against Reagan. So a lot of people mistake that thinking it's like um, anti Illuminati, but back in the 80s, at least back in 1988, he um, made it to go against the Reaganomics at the time, because Ronald Reagan was still president. And, um, what was the other movie like? The Thing, it, it like, uh, it really changed the way we look at, like, uh, extraterrestrial movies, because, ironically, it came out the same time E.T. did, and even though it flopped originally, like originally along with like having bad reviews it wanted to become a classic it wanted to become like one of the sci-fi horror classics of all time despite all of that and with Big Trouble in China it was Mortal Kombat before Mortal Kombat you got monsters you got Kung Fu you got like all sorts of weird shit for Big Trouble in China I could, I'd consider that more of like a a precursor in Mortal Kombat, because I think Ed Boon was inspired by Big Trouble in China, especially this one character that's shoot lightning like Raiden did. They had to be influenced by John Carpenter and that character of Raiden. And of course, you got like um, other films like um, Christine, well, which is a Stephen King property, but he made it his own. And Prince of Darkness, one of my underrated horror movies from the 80s, and one, one of John Carpenter's best, in my opinion. And you also got, like, um, like I said, for my last, you know, real enjoyable John Carpenter film was Vampires with um, James Woods and Thomas Ian Griffith as uh, Balak. Balak plays one of my favorite vampires of all time. <laughs> So good on Thomas Ian Griffith and good on John Carpenter for getting a performance out of him. So anyway, I want to I want to make I want to um, give a coolness to uh, John Carpenter. Whenever you're out there right now, I know I know your movies are kind of struggling on quality. I know they make money and stuff, but they're struggling quality. But you still make great music. So hey, man, you just other than all this, you deserve so much better for your film career and your music career.